Welcome back to those of you who have came from watching part one of my Jeju adventure. If you haven't seen part one yet, I would highly recommend you go over to my channel, check that out before you watch this video. Alternatively, you can click the link above and check that one out for yourself. You're definitely not going to want to miss that. But that's enough of that, let's get right into exactly where we left off. Good morning everybody, it's 7am and it's bright and early and today I'm doing something that I've wanted to do for so long now. Today I'm hiking the Halasan Mountain Volcano Hike. This is the tallest mountain in Jeju but it's also the tallest mountain in Korea. This is a huge accomplishment and I can't wait to tick this off the bucket list. Let's get today rolling, I think I'm going to get a coffee first because I'm exhausted. I didn't get much sleep last night but hopefully this hike will um, perk me up a little. I can't wait for this. There are four hiking trails that go up to Halasan to the upper crater, but only two of the trails reach the very summit. I took the Songpanak Trail, which is the best Halasan hiking trail to go up for most hikers. It's the longest Halasan hiking trail at almost 10 kilometers, but it's relatively easy for most people. The hike took around eight hours in total, including time to rest along the way. The only downside here was the poor visibility at the summit. If you do have the time to do the hike, it's certainly a great accomplishment to achieve and I would recommend that everybody tries this for themselves. After the exhausting 8 hour hike yesterday, I didn't really do much but chill out, eat and get an early night ready for today. But the first thing that I did after waking up and getting a coffee of course, is I drove to the east coast of Jeju to visit the largest aquarium in Asia. I am so excited for this, I love aquariums. I've only been to one other aquarium in Korea and that was in Seoul and that was amazing. It had a beluga whale inside the aquarium. Have you ever seen a whale in an aquarium? Amazing. Honestly, I could make a whole video on just this place. The aquarium is home to almost 50,000 animals, and by the end of this place you're just so overwhelmed. There are so many ways to entertain all ages as it offers the world's top 10 educational, cultural and entertainment programs. You'll also find jaw-dropping water acrobatics performances performed several times a day in the ocean arena. Also, if you're lucky like myself, you might be able to catch some turtles dancing. But for now, just enjoy some of my favourite clips from this spectacular place. to say that was one of the best aquariums that I've ever been to in my life hands down that was amazing it is a little on the pricey side I think I paid about 40,000 for a ticket which is quite expensive I mean compared to US prices I guess it's the equivalent as what you'd expect to pay for an aquarium but this one is unbelievable there's so many animals so many huge fish there's shows inside there's an exhibit so the ticket includes this kind of neon funky trippy exhibit which was really cool and it included like a circus style show where he had animal show sea lions dolphins all that good stuff and there's also people doing acrobatics circus related stuff it was very very good and that was all included in the ticket that was a lot of fun something really convenient about going to the aquarium is right next door is Udo Island and it's just a small island right off the coast of Jeju it looks absolutely beautiful you have to get a ferry over there luckily the ferries run every 30 minutes from like 9 till 5 or 9 till 6 so we're gonna head there now well I'm walking in now and I'm gonna try and get a ferry over there we're gonna have a little explore on the island so we're on the boat but it's pretty much to ourselves because I don't know where everyone else is, but I think I know why. So we caught it later on in the day and the last the last ferry back is in like one hour. So we have one hour to explore the island, which is pointless, I don't know. The ticket lady was trying to not let us go. She was advising us not to go because nothing's gonna be open to rent. We're not gonna be able to do anything. So 
What's the point? But content. That's what. <laughs> Even though it was only a short 15 minute ferry, that was still enough time to provoke some of my seasickness. Even though I still had to return back to the boat in one hour's time, I was very excited to get off that boat and onto dry land. I got my sea legs. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome, we're on Udo Island. Have you ever been? <laughs> So the lady wasn't wrong, there is nothing to do, everything is closing up for the day, you can't rent these little cool scooters, you can't do any of the water sports, you can't do any of the activities on the island, it's a bit too far to go anywhere to come back. But I got ice cream, there's a peanut ice cream shop that was just closing up and we managed to get a last ice cream of the day, which looks absolutely beautiful. So I guess I'm spending the next hour sitting by the sea here, watching the boats, watching the water and eating peanut ice cream. Ah, it's actually really nice too. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was. You could call it a waste of time, but it's an experience. I can now say that I've been to Udo Island. I didn't get to explore much, but who cares? I've been here, it's really nice. I could see how you could spend a day here or even a few hours, you know, there seems to be plenty to do. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it's an experience. Okay, so I'm finishing off the day with yet another food market. This is the second one that I've been to and it's just as cool as the last one that I went to. Cool in a different way though. The last one was more of a nightclub than an actual food market. This one is so chilled. It's like inside a forest as you can see all of the trees it's absolutely beautiful i'm going to put the name of this one down in the video right here because i can't pronounce it it's a really long korean name but it's beautiful there's so many fairy lights all over the trees there's loads of food stands all around the edge they also sell these cool little bracelets and all little knickknacks you can buy it's absolutely stunning the hipster vibes the kind of chilled relaxed setting completely different from the last one but I'm gonna get some food now and I'll show you what I get in just a moment. This forest night market is open all year and it runs from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. every single day. I couldn't get over how aesthetically pleasing this market in the forest was. It was just perfect. I'm sure that this place is a wonderful place to go in both the summer and the winter. I have found exactly what I was looking for. Look at this. Oh, I've got a turkey leg. I only ever see these things at Disneyland and I get so excited when I see them. I've loved these for so many years, but they're so hard to find and I was really surprised to see them in Korea. But I'm so happy with this. Look at this. Look at the size of it. Okay, I'm on my final day of my Jeju trip. We're on our way to the first attraction of the day. We've got some amazing things planned and I'm quite surprised by how much we've covered off this week so far. We've saw so many of the best attractions, but this one I am really looking forward to. I know I say that about everyone, but I really am. And the last thing of the itinerary today, you're really gonna like. I mean, I'm really gonna like it, but you guys are really gonna like it too. I'm a bit annoyed the weather hasn't cleared up the past few days. It's still very, whitewashed and cloudy and it doesn't look the best but as long as it's not raining I guess it's no problem. So we've just arrived at the first spot of the day. Welcome to Mazeland and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of mazes where you can go explore and get lost. Behind me on the poster here I think right there you can see 338. I'm hoping that's 3 minutes 38 and not 3 hours 38 to do the mazes. Ooh, who knows, but it looks like there's maybe three, four, maybe even five mazes to do here and there. Yeah, let's go get lost. The mazes have different levels of difficulty with each one getting harder as they go along. Jeju Island is known to be plentiful in three things, stones, wind and women. And each maze is named after the three abundances. Also, all of the mazes combined reach a whopping total of 5 kilometers in length and once you complete all of the mazes you get to ring the bell at the end to celebrate. This place was definitely a first for me. 10 minutes in and I think I'm lost already. I did take a look at the map at the start and it, 
it seemed relatively simple, but turns out it's not when you're in it and you're not looking at a bird's eye view of the thing. It all looks the same. It's all just green trees and walkways and pathways and <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens in the next five minutes. Maybe I end up in the same spot I am now. <laughs> Who knows? So my strategy for this maze is that I'd stay on this left side, stay against the left wall and I'd follow this all the way around. I think that's how you do a maze, right? I don't know because I've never done a maze. But I might have just saw that in a movie somewhere. I might have just made that up. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be working so probably don't follow my advice if you do this yourself. It's harder than it looks. So I'm trying to look for things which I haven't seen before because it all looks the same. I haven't saw this before. Looks like those little tentacles in the Goblet of Fire. You know Harry Potter with Cedric Diggory. <laughs> yes! Okay, finish maze number one. One down, two to go. Okay, number two down, one more to go. This place is kind of creepy in some spots. Imagine playing hide and seek at night with your friends here. Whoa, imagine that. This is absolutely exhausting. We've been walking around for about an hour so far. We're not doing very well at all. But I think the important thing is you get a map before you start the maze. That's really gonna help you out. I mean, I wouldn't use the map because I'm not a cheater, you know? But if you do need help, if you do get really lost, it's gonna help you, you know? That was actually a lot of fun. We've just finished all of it. But it's not just the mazes inside this um, theme park. It's advertised as a theme park. It's not really a theme park. But it's not just the mazes you can do. There's museums as well, there's galleries. There's all these types of little maze, optical illusion, game things that you can try at the end, which is so much fun. It was a great day out coming here. I'm gonna go to the next spot and see what else we can do for today. So I'm absolutely gutted. So I've just pulled up to the last place on the itinerary, the place that I've been super excited to see since the start of this trip. And it turns out it's been closed for over a year. Who knew? This should have been more apparent online. I didn't see anything of it being closed, but we got to the gates and there's construction work going on. And yeah, it's been closed for a year, but the place was called Loveland. Oh my God. The place was called Loveland and it's all to do with, you know, doing the nasty. It's got loads of sculptures, got loads of cool artwork. I think it was made by university students and it was extremely explicit and it would have been a great end to this trip. I would have loved to have seen some of those sculptures. It would have been hilarious. But it is what it is. We've got to improvise. We're going to go somewhere else for the last few hours that I've got on the island. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the area in which the night market was yesterday and around that area there's a cool little theme park of such and it's got like a VR station, it's got a small museum, an ice museum, it's got a few things to do and see. So we're going to go back there and see if we can make the most of the rest of the day. So there's an ice museum in here too. You can see everything behind me here. There's lots of buildings and little igloos and Christmas related stuff, which is a bit weird. I don't know why it's so Christmassy. But the igloo, look at this thing. It's an igloo snowman. Shall we go inside? Wow, look at this. This is so cool. It's absolutely freezing. I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, so as you can imagine, I am rushing to get out of here. But it's very cool, I like it. So we brought the ticket, which as I'm gonna show you, it cost about 15,000 for VR, ice museum, 4D gallery, 5D gallery, and something else, but it's 15,000 won, which is like $10, less than $10, so it's super cheap too. Oh my God, you really can't spend long in here. It's Freezing. Bring a jacket, wear some trousers, wear a jacket, wear something long sleeve. It's cold. 
You could spend an hour or two at this place pretty easily and there is a wide range of things to do and experience here. There were multiple VR experiences, kind of like mini roller coasters, which were kind of cool. There was also a small 5D cinema to watch short movies inside. Finally, there was a wicked museum of illusions, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love these places. Well, that was pretty average. It wasn't amazing, I guess. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the best. It was okay. The ice museum was fun. The other optical illusion things, they were fun too. The VR was a little meh. But I mean, for the price, it was super cheap, so you can't complain really. It was a good way to waste a few hours, but I'm still annoyed at this Loveland thing. I really wanted to go there. It's such a shame. Maybe if you guys go in a couple months time, maybe it's reopened. I, I really don't know. I hope so, because I'd like to come back in the future and go to that myself. It would be great. It's a shame, but you know, we improvised, we, um, we made do with what we had. It was okay, it was a good trip. Well, that's a wrap. The past few days here have been absolutely incredible and I've thoroughly enjoyed every day that I've spent here. I've made some incredible memories that I'll never forget. I just wish the weather was a little better. That was the only downside to this trip. Other than that, perfect. What a beautiful island this is. I hope this has inspired some of you to visit this incredible place because it really is breathtaking. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell if you would like to be notified of more of my upcoming videos and adventures. It would also mean the world to me if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment down below of what you thought of this amazing place. I shall see you all in the next video.